Hi everybody, Steve here from Never Too Late to Travel. Well, very busy day today and uh, very, very hot and sticky. But uh, as a final video, I thought I'll uh, take the Bart Boss down here uh, along Jomtian Beach and come to the Jomtian Night Market. Uh, I've been led to believe that now that the Russians are coming back in, a lot of them uh, eat and drink here in the evening. So uh, maybe this is the uh, new little Moscow uh, in the Patia area. Previously it used to be up near the uh, Jomtian Tower and I believe that one is still working as well. But this uh, may be uh, well a new uh, venue for the Russian people that visit in Thailand. So with that let's go have a look around and uh, I'll show you what's on offer here. And uh, let's uh, hope that we uh, find something interesting for everybody. And as with all night markets uh, dotted around tourist areas, you'll always find an uh, excellent uh, selection of food and uh, snacks and uh, drinks etc. Uh, along with all the souvenir shops for your t-shirts and your other bric-a-brac. So let's have a walk around this one and see if there's anything exceptional here. Lots of fresh fruit here, uh, people seem to be uh, queuing up for that. I always find that on these markets the, that the uh, fruit is exceptionally fresh and uh, always looks uh, appetising. Easy to spot the Russians around. Uh, most of them are uh, families and uh, they tend to bring the uh, younger children with them because the flight is Obviously not as uh, long as they're coming from the uh, far depths of Europe. Uh, Europeans do bring their kids with them, but uh, they tend to be 12, 13 or 14 years of age. But uh, Russians are considering uh, bringing younger children. Very large uh, selection of different clothes and uh, here a nice little shop there selling swimwear, bikinis and uh, swimming shorts. And if you're into the exotic here on the left you can buy something for the girlfriend. I was last year, probably be, uh, over a year ago and uh, since that time this market has really developed into uh, something quite large. As you walk around you'll find most of the things that uh, you either need for your holiday or you'll find those special souvenirs that uh, you want to take home. Obviously we won't be buying any souvenirs, we're living here, but uh, just gives you an idea on uh, what is uh, on offer uh, for the tourists that actually come into uh, Jomtian. And uh, pleased to say that here there is uh, quite a, a selection for people to choose different uh, things to take home. Very unusual stall there on the left hand side, seems to have some uh, very unusual items in there. And with a lot of the markets you can always pick up a, a bargain on uh, 
uh, shoes and uh, slip-on slippers etc always a wide variety for you to choose from a lot of them are just copies I'm afraid And you can see on the uh, right hand side there are quite a few people sitting out eating and drinking but uh, we'll see more of that as we uh, paddle our way around the market. Nice selection there of bags and uh, different shoes. I'm sure I could spend half an hour in there finding something uh, nice to wear. And a nice little bar area there. See the uh, few Russians there sat at the bar partaking in uh, maybe a vodka, uh, maybe just a few beers. People say, oh, don't trust the food from the market areas. Uh, it's very unhygienic and uh, very unsafe, but uh, to be honestly uh, truthful, I've been in Thailand many many years and I have never ever had a problem uh, with street food or market food anywhere in Thailand. Uh, in my own experience it always uh, tends to be very very good quality and very very good fresh and always at a reasonable price. When I used to go down to uh, Little Moscow by the uh, Jomtian Tower, which is a famous market uh, area uh, for Russians, there used to be some really, really nice bread stalls, but uh, I haven't seen any on here at the moment. And this guy doing a flambe of some kind, it looks like a, a pasta cheese or something like that. It looks very, very appetizing, whatever it is. And always some of my uh, favourite uh, kebabs there. Get a donna, chicken or a lamb uh, to take home. Always welcome after a few beers at the bar. Not that I drink a lot nowadays, uh, very, very little to be uh, absolutely truthful. There are quite a few places that you can get cold drinks and uh, get a few cold beers and uh, take it to the seating areas there and just enjoy a snack with it. There are plenty on offer guys here, you're not going to be short of anything. We just passed a little stage area uh, before where the kids are actually jumping around and dancing. Uh, I'm afraid it was copyright music, so I had to take it out, but the uh, kids are certainly enjoying themselves here. Lovely uh, fish there. And smoothies of all different uh, types of fruit. You'll find them uh, all over markets. Uh, in Thailand and uh, on a hot uh, day or an evening you'll always find them very very refreshing and uh, people just uh, love them to be honest very often you'll go there and you'll find a queue now here on the left hand side there Pad Thai one of the all-time favorites in uh, Thailand and uh, I'm not exaggerating you guys uh, if you look at uh, Pad Thai Mr. Moon I think his name is uh, there is uh, quite a long queue there for his uh, pad thai, so uh, it must be uh, very, very popular and very, very tasty.
one of the rules here in Thailand, if you see a lot of Thais eating in the place, you can guarantee that it's uh, very, very good food. On this market, I uh, have seen a few things marked up in uh, Russian language. Uh, but to be honest, it's uh, not uh, overly done here. Uh, if you go down to the Jomkin Tower, you'll find more signage in Russian. I think now to this market, I think there is actually five uh, walkways in between the stores. This one, uh, one of my favourites, the uh, Indian curries. Uh, quite a nice selection there and uh, very, very tasty at a, at a reasonable price. I have tried it, it's excellent. If you're in the market area, guys, and you fancy an Indian, that's the place to be. Quite a few people there buying. Seems to be a very, very popular market. Uh, as you go around and you see the amount of people actually buying stuff, it uh, appears to be very, very a good place to come. Nice selection of bags and uh, leather goods there. It reminds me, I must need uh, to go and buy uh, a new wallet. Uh, the uh, strap on my other one is uh, about finished and uh, my uh, wallet tends to uh, fall open, which is not very, very good. And here you can see on the left hand side a lot more people sat out enjoying the uh, evening. It has been exceptionally hot here in Thailand over the last few days. It's been exceptionally hot. And uh, to be honest, uh, when evening comes, I'm quite relieved. It uh, drops down a few degrees, but those few degrees make all the difference to being comfortable. little stall here on the right hand side you got these t-shirts that light up in the dark I think they're uh, print, printed with some uh, fluorescent uh, paint I've got a couple myself somewhere in the house that uh, uh, my wife and I bought uh, some time ago and to be honest hardly ever wear them Sometimes, I must be honest and say, it's very, very difficult to actually get a, a table and a chair to sit down uh, on in some evenings. Uh, particularly the other market by the Jomtian Tower, uh, you'd have to secure a table before you go and get anything to eat, or you'll just end up standing up eating, and uh, it's not the best thing that you want when you're out in the evening, is it? And even more people sat out. As you can see, very, very popular venue in the evening. Uh, probably due to its location, the quality of the food and the goods, and uh, the price.
really uh, pleasing to see that uh, Thailand is uh, back on the up as uh, regarding tourism so uh, really really great to see so that guys we'll let the uh, video play out it's self-explanatory with uh, a few more views before we go and uh, I'll let you finish it off uh, listening to a bit of music Uh, more of a busy area where people are sitting and you see exceptionally busy if you'd like to support the channel and uh, the cost for making these videos there is a little sticker on my channel for buy a coffee if you're so much interested. Uh, every little bit uh, helps on uh, travelling around Thailand and uh, bring you the best content uh, that I can. So if uh, you do that for me, it's very, very much appreciated.